And we continue our team coverage tonight in Okeechobee, where residents are under a curfew right now. CBS 12's Amber Robb, she joins us live with a look at what the city is seeing after the storm. Amber. The 11 p.m. curfew just started moments ago, but even before that, it was like a ghost town here in Okeechobee. And businesses and gas stations were closed when we got here around 7 o'clock. And right now, we're not seeing a lot of rain, but we're really seeing some wind gusts. I just spoke with the Emergency Operations Center, and they said the last time they checked, they were seeing wind gusts in the mid-60s. The airport just a little bit ago saw 74-mile-per-hour winds. Here in town, there are several stop signs blown over, power lines down, and we even saw a roof fly off a home near Lake Okeechobee. Earlier today, gas stations were wrapping their pumps up to help prevent things from flying away. Right now, safety is the top concern. We want to make sure that our citizens are staying inside, staying off the roads. Even after the storm passes, stay off the roads because the conditions with down power lines are not safe, not to mention let the first responders do our job. Uh, so we don't want to be impeded by a bunch of traffic on the road that just doesn't need to be out there. Franklin tells me that most of the wind gusts are concentrated towards Lake Okeechobee. Now, there will be crews coming out tomorrow morning once things are safe to kind of survey the damage. Right now, we're actually at a gas station to kind of be away from the debris. Moments before the newscast started, the power actually went out over here. So hopefully it'll come back on for everyone. Reporting live in Okeechobee, I'm Amber Robb, CBS 12 News.